Hey guys, how's it going? Justin here. So I am back playing with uh well I'm not playing. I'm actually watching a movie called Skull Island. Pretty badass. Yes, this is in 4K. I got this in 4K. Right here you guys can see it. Uh it's not focusing because I have the manual focus. But anyways, this movie has HDR, it looks awesome, it looks great on the Samsung KS 8500 and I'm also going to do a comparison between this and the TCL because <clears throat> I haven't tested the 4K movies on the TCL. Uh, I have the TCL 55P605 series with, which is also 4K with HDR. Same thing with this Samsung, 4K HDR. Now, before I continue, I will show you the settings real quick on the Samsung that I have. And this one is running on movie mode. I always recommend movie mode to watch movies. Why? Because it's the closest one that you're going to get for movies. Now, let me go to the expert settings. And I have here the backlight down to 10. That's, this is depending on the, how well lit your room is. If it's dark, you should have it like a lower backlight. If it's, if it's a bright room, then you can just, you know, move the value all the way up to 20 if you want. But at the same time, I wanted to, since I'm recording this with a camera, the camera catches a lot of light. So I keep it down to 10 in order for to uh, keep the closest true colors that I'm looking at in the front of the TV. Now the brightness is at 45, contrast 100, sharpness, you don't need sharpness, this is a 4K TV, 4K movie also, uh, color 50. Now digital clean view and auto motion plus. Auto motion plus, it, it says right there, enhance picture sharpness for optimized for fast moving images. This one helps a lot to reduce jutter. I have tried this so many times and I have done videos on this one before and I do recommend to have this at least in auto. You can go to the settings inside and, and change it, but if you just choose auto, it helps a lot. It makes a big difference to reduce the judder. Also digital clean view. This one is good to have it reduces picture noise to avoid distractions such as flickering. Yeah, it helps you with all this. So I do recommend to have this this uh, settings in auto at least. Smart LED, you want to have your smart LED on. This is your local dimming. It helps to have better blacks. Uh, but you know what? The only down thing about this Samsung TV is that this is an edge lit TV. And as you can see, there's some light bleeding right here. You guys notice that? Yeah, not up here though, which is odd. This is, it should be more noticeable up here, but it's mostly up down here. That's how I noticed on the other Samsung uh, TVs as well. But on the TCL, you won't have that. On the TCL, it should be all good because it's a full array. It's, it's everything is in the back of the TV, not at the bottom or top. Uh, also make sure you have your Ultra HD colors on right here and you can turn them on on this Samsung TV. All right, HDMI black levels, I have it in auto. Look how what I, what happens if I change this to normal. You see everything. I don't know if you guys can see it, but everything is gets so washed out. So don't use normal. Use auto, best option. Dynamic contrast. <clears throat> A lot of people say dynamic contrast. You should have it off. There you go. That's how it looks with off. Oh, shit with the image. There it is. <laughs> All right. Uh, what happens is like it makes everything so dim. It's is you don't you don't see any any much contrast, you know, and I do like my high my dynamic contrast to be high. This is just optional. If you don't like this, you don't have to have it. You can turn it off if you want, but this is just in through my eyes. This is just what I see better, what I like better. So <clears throat> that's how I have it. Color tone isn't warm. One, there's a lot of people who use uh standard or cool. Warm 2 is too jealous for me. I think Warm 1 is a sweet spot for me. I like it like that. Um, I don't play around with the gamma. Just leave it in zero. RGB mode off. Just leave it like that. Color space. Now, color space, I do have it in auto, especially when it's an HDR video. Auto helps a lot. Native, here it is. You won't, you know, you guys, you notice the difference, right? Native, it looks a little bit more washed out right here. Native. And auto is look colors more look more colorful. They pop out better when it's auto. So I'm just gonna leave it in auto. Right here, the color space. You don't need to change that much. All right. So let's check out some movie clips. I'm going to turn down the volume. I don't want to get 
get any problems with the copywriting fragment. And let's do a comparison with the TCL P5, P55, no, 55P605 series. And I will show you the settings that I have. I'm gonna play around with the settings on the TCL as well. All right, guys, welcome to the channel. Let's do this. All right, guys, so we are back with the TCL. This is the TCL 55P605 series, the performance series TV that, Roku, uh, that TCL has to offer. It also has Roku TV. I was gonna say that. I noticed there's some flickering here going on. Uh, that is just from my camera. The picture from the TV, it looks perfectly fine. I don't know why it's catching all this flickering, but uh, let me show you first how is this is set up. This is a 4K, 24 Hertz, HDR10. So this one supports the other free 24P. And let me show you, let's go to the options really quick. So this is the, the settings that I have. TV brightness is a normal. We can play around. This is bright. This is brighter, darker, dark, normal. So I like to have this one in normal. I don't know, it feels, it feels good to my eyes. Now the picture mode, this only, you know, this is funny because once it's on uh, uh, HDR, it just gives me this HDR picture modes, normal, bright, and dark. And that's it. That's all you get with uh, picture mode. Once it's HDR, if probably if I turn off HDR, I get the movie setting, the BV and, every, Vivid and everything else. But once it's HDR, it just automatically changes to this HDR uh, three these three different HDR settings now picture size I have this direct this is no change show the full picture or auto out of the text and show the best picture image size so I'm gonna leave it to auto on um, direct audio this is up to you I have it on big bass um, advanced picture settings let's go into this one and right here I have the local contrast off let's turn it on uh, right here High local local contrast or this is your local dimming as you notice the flickering is just gets more intense right it's just it's crazy I don't know why this is happening so the backlight is all the way up to 100 this is a little bit different than the Samsung the Samsung has the backlight value up to 20 but this is different this is up to 100 oh man this this is kind of annoying it just the uh, options go back really quick all right, so that's how it is. The brightness of 50, contrast 100, sharpness. I don't have the sharpness at all. There's no sharpness. I turn it down. Color tone is this on 60, and I feel like 60 is pretty good on this TV. You can go even more, but the colors are going to get more distorted. So 60 is pretty good on this TV. Now, color temperature. This is warm, cool, normal, and I feel warm is the one that are the same as the Samsung, the one one. So that's it. Also, I went to the settings, the expert settings through the app, and I changed this to the color space. I was able to change it to auto instead of uh, native. So I changed this to auto because auto looks better with HDR. All right, guys. So this is how this TV is going to look, the TCL. This is the settings. Let's start this comparison. Samsung KS 8500 versus TCL. 55P605 Performance Series TV. All right, guys, so before I start the video, I wanted to show you some screenshots that I took from these videos that I made. The Samsung, the TCO, I mean, don't get me wrong, both TVs look amazing. Both TVs look, look very sharp, very good. The colors pop out and everything, especially on the Samsung, it's brighter. The Samsung has a quantum dot. And it's very hard to notice any difference when I switch these images right here from one to another. I wasn't really able to tell much uh, between the colors and the deep blacks and everything until I split the screen. I will show you how I split the screen right now. Once I did this, then I was able to notice how important it is the uh, local dimming that the TCO offers. I mean, it has 72 zones of full array local dimming which means it turns off certain LEDs to make a much superior contrast than the Samsung which is edge lit TV and it's just the blacks are, are much deeper on the TCO and you're able to appreciate the colors pop out much better the uh, 
the greens, the water, the reds, the white, everything guys, everything is just far, far superior. And this is why one of the biggest reasons that I like the TCL, the ability that has the full array local dimming, I wasn't sure how important this was. Well, that's it for me right now, guys. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I am Jolster, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Jolster out.